bonjour in this tutorial we're gonna learn beep bonjour in this tutorial in this two-part tutorial we are going to learn how we can use our mouse position to drive the aim offset and the first part will be how we create the aim offset in the second part we will take a look into the animation blueprint and get our mouse position so we can drive the animation also, we're going to learn how we're going to get a reference to the player controller in the animation blueprint, which also works for a multiplayer. This can be quite handy for some applications. Now, as you can see, the results I'm getting here, they're far from perfect. But I wanted to show this method. If you want the aim offset to look smooth, you have to add more animations in between. I will tell you when you can do this. But I use this method in a game of mine and there I only use a smaller range of motion and it works perfectly. So depending on your needs, you can take this, modify it, do whatever you want. Play with it. Okay, now we're going to start creating the aim offset. This is quite an easy task to do. Open your third person example or your project and move to your animation folder and we we'll have to create some poses for this aim offset to work in this case i had one for the arm up down to the left to the right and i also did those in betweens now if you want absolutely no clipping at all you probably need to make more poses here in between so the arm doesn't jump around but for my purpose this was way enough so i did it like this how do we create the poses um, I would like to do it like this. I open the third person idle animation, jump to the first frame, and from here I can start posing the arm or whichever limb you want to move. And I like to use the world rotation and start working. Beautiful. If you're satisfied with the results, you can press create asset create animation and current pose and call it something like arm up be sure to take the right folder and press ok oh that's ok 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 it didn't work but in your case it should work because i already have it ok and when you did this you have just have to repeat this step to create all the poses we need to make this offset don't worry if it shakes around it does still work however there's one little thing we have to change before we can use those poses and if we go into one of them normally there are no additive settings we need if you go under asset details additive settings but we need those in order for them for the animations to work inside the uh, aim offset so i like to use mesh space selected animation scaled and in here we use the third person idle animation or the animation from which you start to create your poses. Save it and we should be good to go. However, if you forget to do this for the animations and you want to do it for all of them at once, there's one easy way. You can select all your poses, right click asset actions and bulk edit via property matrix. Now, this is a very handy feature in Unreal now you can change a lot of settings for different assets at once. It does work with other settings as well. Go to additive settings. Now mesh space, selected animation scaled. And in here we select the third person idle animation. Click on this little arrow and it should work normally. However, sometimes it bugs out. So be sure to double check if it's right. Now you see it's not idle, it's arm left, arm left, and this is wrong. We want to use the idle animation. Try it again. Now it's the idle. I don't know why sometimes it just doesn't work. But now if we open those and now each one of the each one of them should have the third person idle as the base animation. Okay, now we're ready to create our offset. Right click. Create aim offset, select your skeleton. In my case, it's the UE4 mannequin and give it a pretty name. And we open it and there is nothing inside of here. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this base pose to the idle pose. And now we can start inserting our poses. 
or they are actually animations. So let's go with arm up, no, arm up, arm down. And with this little green spot, you can preview it. Arm left, right here, arm right, like this. And it, it could already work like this. You, however, you can add some you can add more animations in between to make it look prettier. So let's have arm down left, arm down right, arm up right, and arm up left. All right, and we're finished with the animations. The last thing I have to change is here in the axis settings. I want to give this a name, I call it horizontal. And the values, because we're gonna use the mouse position on the screen, this gives out values from 0 to 1. So in here we're gonna have 0 to 1 and this axis I'm gonna call vertical or y or x, I always forget which one is which. And also we're gonna use 0 to 1. Save this offset and now we are finished with this aim offset.